So having shown how the expected value and standard deviation of the returns of a portfolio are calculated, it's now time to start having a look at how we can select portfolios. So we're going to go into the minimum variance frontier and the efficient frontier. So by selecting different weights for each different asset, Assuming that we have access to a pool of certain risky assets, which we can put into our portfolio. By just changing those weights around, you can get a whole bunch of different portfolios which have different expected returns and different standard deviations or levels of risk. And we can show these on a graph like this, where you've got the expected value in the vertical axis and the standard deviation in the horizontal axis. So you just get a bunch of dots like this where each dot is a single portfolio with its position demonstrating by how high up the expected return on it and by how far across the standard the level of risk on it so if you just follow the very simple logic of more expected return is good and more risk is bad, you can quickly see that some portfolios are simply inferior to others. If we take this portfolio here, I'll choose this one. This one has the same level of expected return 